Hello and welcome to Todd Plays Games, where we're going to try a new game for me. It's not new, it's new to me. We're going to play Broken Sword The Smoking Mirror, aka Broken Sword 2. I... Broken Sword is, is one of those weird game franchises that I absolutely adore. I The first one, Shadow of the Templars, playthrough, I will tag at the end of this is up on the channel. It was the first thing I recorded for Todd Plays Games. It's an absolute gem of a game. 1990s classic point-and-click adventure. Beautifully hand-drawn animation characters, backdrops. Everything about it is just beautiful. And I played it as a kid on the PlayStation with my dad, funnily enough. There's not many games I played with my dad. And it took us about 10 years to figure out how to actually progress through the story. Just a fantastic adventure. Just uh, uh, amazing. But I've never played any of the other ones. I've played Shadow of the Templars maybe six or seven times since then. But GOG had a, a sale. Black Friday sale, I think it was. That's how far back we're going. And they had quite a few of them on discount. So I've picked up the all but one, I can't remember which one, but all but one of the other Broken Sword games. So we've got two, we've got three. I don't know if we have four. I need to double check. But we have them, and I, I want to play through them because I haven't played them. And I love George Dobar and uh, Nico. Nico Collard. Uh, George, the American tourist who gets stuck in everybody's murderous ways. Um... I've always wanted to play them, but I've never had access to them. And then it was like, oh, well, there's other stuff to play. And I figured, no, we're going to take a break. We're going to go back in time. I think this came out in 96 or 98. The original. This is the remastered. We're going to see what it's like. The animation has changed over time. They've gone to more of a 3D thing in the later games. I believe that this is still the 2D, hand-drawn, beautiful animation that I fell in love with with Shadow of the Templars. Um, don't know the story, don't know anything about it. All I know is that George is in it, I think. I think we still play as George. I think he is the hero of this franchise. But I don't know much. And it's very rare for old games like this, that I have a, a reverie for the franchise, that I don't know much. And that's exciting. So we're going to jump in. We're, we're just going to see how this, this goes. I am going to play through all of it. The reason that I want to play through Broken Sword on the channel and bring it to a wider audience, hopefully you guys enjoy it as well, let me know in the comments, is because they're remastering, truly remastering, Shadow of the Templates. Apparently it's due out some point this year. I will be all over that because that game is just an absolute classic. It, I always forget about it when you think in terms of top 10 games of all time. Personally, it's one of mine. The love that I have for it is is so good. Uh, I'm not expecting anything that good from this because it's a sequel. I'm just putting that out there. But it they're usually very well crafted adventures, and I'm going to need your help in chat to point out where I'm going wrong. So if I miss anything, and in, in let me know in the comments, things like that. But I figured we'd just jump in. We see what the adventure is. The Smoking Mirror is a very a very interesting title. But let's dive into the next adventure of George Stobart. Classic. The music as well is incredible with these games. So good. Charles Cecil, obviously video game royalty, certainly in the UK. Mayan? Was it Mayan or Aztec? This must be the place. Professor Oubier's house. It looks pretty creepy. I'd been away from Paris and hadn't seen Nico for nearly six months. I wanted to celebrate our reunion. But she had other plans. An appointment with an archaeologist. Something okay. to do with a Mayan stone she came across while researching the story. Skeletal. The oh guy who God. answered the door didn't look much like an archaeologist to me. 
I have a bad feeling about this. Kick it. Oh, at least his chair's on wheels. <laughs> oh, this is not good. We need the dart. I have no control. Okay, and now I have control. Okay, that did nothing. We need the dart. I decided to work out how to untie myself before exploring further. Uh, alright, okay. That's not what I decided. I can't move you, can I? We break glass? I glanced over the books, vaguely hoping to find a copy of how to deal with poisonous spiders while tied to a chair. No such luck. But I noticed one corner of the bookcase was supported by a loose block of wood. Perfect. Kick the block. Maybe I'd been a little heavy-handed, but it was a question of survival. Of course, I was still tied to a chair in a burning house with no means of escape. Right, you get your arms on and you break the rope. There we go, you see? Hero George at work. With one mighty bound, our hero was free. Now, I had to deal with that fire. I already love it. I just there's something about these adventures. They're just the rope fantastic. Was shredded and no possible use to me. What about the spider? I wasn't touching that spider goo. No, that's a shame. Right, let's take Nico's bag. It was a stylish little canvas number containing a lipstick, a handwritten note, and a pair of nylon panties with a large love heart emblazoned across the front. It occurred to me that Nico's tastes must have really changed while I was away. <laughs> well, they could be useful. Are you not going to pick it up? I'd already ransacked Nico, and besides oh, okay. We're which, not taking the, the color didn't suit me. Right. Uh, we need water or something. That dart was sharper than a mosquito's business end, but this didn't deter me from getting it anyway. I wasn't going to touch the box after that spider had been inside it. Okay, coward. Water? There was no pressure in the siphon. I guess it was out of gas. What do we have in the bag? I mean... Don't see a use for any of it yet. In the drawer was a small decorated pot. It's mine now. Inside, I found a bottle of tequila. Let's not throw that on normal. the fire. I didn't drink strong spirits, but today was far from normal. Uh, 
Disgusting. Not only did the tequila burn like hell, <laughs> I just managed to stop myself from swallowing the worm. There was something short, fleshy, and gross on the carpet. It's the worm. It was the worm from the bottle of tequila. Which you did pick up. Look how angry that worm looks. Nice couple. Right, have we got... I know we need to break that, but have we got anything that I can do about the fire? We don't have any way of breaking the that either. The projecting bracket had served its purpose. There was nothing else I could do with it. I had no time to sit around. That's not what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is, what's this? I you... drunk enough of that. But will you pick it, it up? It was a half bottle of tequila. Right, so right click the bureau is contained Professor Ubier's tequila description. Left click is interact pick up. The bookcase had fallen on its front, making it impossible to reach the books inside. We do have hints as well, but I don't want to necessarily do the hints. Don't get too close to the fire. I mean, that's very close to the fire, George. The cabinet was locked. You can pick the lock, right? As I released the lock, something blew the doors open. The cylinder. The cabinet was already open. I know that we mixed that, that with the... was hot. I couldn't pick it up with my bare hands. So this is where... The panties I'd found in Nico's bag were just what I needed to wrap around the hot cylinder. The panties come in. You see? It's clever. Oh, I'm going to have no to put the cylinder in before we... Yeah, okay. That's lipstick. So the cylinder is going to go in there, and that gives us. I mean, it doesn't give us enough air. A faint hiss as the valve opened. Huh? Now I had one primed up and ready to use extinguisher. Not entirely sure that's how they work, but do it. <laughs> With a well-aimed squirt of his soda fountain, our unshakable hero saved the day. Now it was time to start looking for Nico. Is there nothing else in this room? Do you not want to take the tequila? Just in case. I think we're okay. I wasn't going to burn myself on that red-hot doorknob, and it wasn't the time for subtlety. That's the hero we know and love. It feels like being back in Shadow of the Templars again. I'd found a piece of newspaper folded in two. It referred to a forthcoming eclipse of the sun. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be visible from Europe. The best place to view the eclipse would be Mexico. Well, I guess that's where we're going to be going. The phone was no use to me. Apart from Nico, there was no one in Paris I wanted to call. Lock pick it again. Locked. The tiny point was only of use for picking small locks. Fair enough. We'd already used it once. I wasn't expecting it to work again. The door was locked. I didn't fancy my chances of kicking this door down.
No, I want you to read it. I guess I had no business reading the note, but I figured it might give me a clue to what Nico was involved in. It was from Andre Labano. The history student Nico had known at college. The letter was sentimental mush and revealed that the exotic lingerie, as he called it, was a gift from him. It gave his telephone number. Labano figured himself as a rival for Nico's affections, but I couldn't believe that that creep was in the running. Well, that explains where she got the rather hideous lingerie from. Much as I disliked him, Labano might be my only hope of finding Nico. I'm rewiring my brain from dead space into broken sword. Hi, Andre. Who is this? It's George Stover. I remember Andre. Andre. Boyfriend? Don't you mean ex-boyfriend? Look, I didn't call you just to pick a fight. I need to talk to you about Nico. Can't you accept she's just not interested in you? Listen, Andre, we need to talk. Nico's life depends on it. Okay. You remember the cafe at Montfaucon? Sure. Andre? You better show, you creep. We still need to get out. I felt an irrational urge to wipe my ear. Is the door open? It was locked. No. The pot contained a key. Always be checking. We've moved from always be saving to always be checking. Didn't fit this lock. Damn it. I unlocked the door. I wasn't looking forward to meeting Labano again, but he was my only link with Nico. Another cafe there was in no Paris. Of Labano when I got to the cafe. I decided to order a coffee and wait for it. That's what I do. So six months later, here I am back in Paris. Got a meeting lined up with Nico. She wants me to meet some archaeologist with her. A guy called Professor Aubier. I don't know what it's all about. Something to do with carvings on a Mayan stone. Truth is, it'll be great to see Nico again, whatever the reason. Not quite the reunion I had in mind. Obier's house was creepy as hell. This highly sinister Central American guy lets us in, takes us upstairs to a drawing room, then hits me from behind. When I come round, I'm tied to a chair with a menace, being menaced by a deadly spider. The room's on fire and Nico's been abducted. However, some cute Stobart moves lead to one squashed spider and a very impressive escape. It was impressive. I'm not... Uh, I sure don't feel comfortable rifling through Nico's handbag, but I had to discover why we were attacked and where they've taken her. Things didn't get better when I found a gift from that creep Andre Labano, a pair of panties. Wow, I really dislike him. Still, he's the only lead I have. Maybe he's changed. Nah, I must find Nico before they do any do her any harm. Oh, garçon. He ignored me. I'm sure it was deliberate. Yeah, I think it was too. Pardon me, but don't I know you? Huh? You were here the the day I found the catacombs. I was. Ah, yes. I remember you. Is yeah. it the same cafe? Are you still in the police force? No, not anymore. I'm a man of leisure. And what brings you back to Paris? My girlfriend. What it is to be young and in love. Will you share a bottle of wine with me? Hey, listen, I'd love to, but I need to keep a clear head. So my company isn't good enough for you. Well done, George. Why did you leave the police? I was forced to retire. The golden handshake. Only in my case, it was more copper than gold. How come? I was made a scapegoat to cover up the department's inefficiencies. 
Have you ever heard of a Professor Oubier? No, monsieur. I don't recall the name. Well, apparently he's an expert on Mayan art and history. A little out of my field of experience, monsieur. If he'd been a serial killer or a sodomite, I might have been able to help. Thanks anyway. It was too hot to sit inside the cafe. Besides, you could I might miss Labino. Go and order a drink. Hey, hey, garçon? Hey, you. <laughs> well, I'd like a cup of coffee if you don't mind. When I finish serving this gentleman. Yeah, that's fine. I couldn't snatch the man's flask while he was looking. Why do I need his flask? Merci. Un café. Thanks. Do you know a guy called André Lobineau? Oui. I know him. What of it? Well, I'm supposed to meet him here. Did I miss him? No. I have not seen him today. Have you heard of Professor Oubier? Oui. He married that actress, the little Dachshund. They used to come here. The nutty professor and the movie star. Okay. If Oubier's wife was a movie star, how come I never heard of her? She was big in France. The world doesn't stop at Hollywood. Her stage name was Carol Climax. She died in suspicious circumstances. What kind of acting did she do? How did Oubier's wife die? I heard he shot her. And got away with it? He had a good lawyer and a watertight alibi. Do you know that man over there? I should think so. He's a regular customer. For some reason I want his flask. Why would an eminent public figure like Oubier risk everything for murder? He wouldn't be the first, would he? Besides, people like him always get off. I feel like I need the flask, but I don't want to just ask for it because it's weird. That's all. Thank you. Ah, Andre. Well, well, this is a surprise, Georgie. I wouldn't normally call you, but Nico's in trouble, Andre. Deep trouble. You have to help me find her. What? What have you dragged her into this time? It was you that recommended Professor Oubier as an expert on Mayan art. Now his butler has kidnapped her, and he tried to kill me. Every time she gets involved with you, there is trouble. Walking out on her it's was the true. best thing you could do. My father was dying, damn it. I had no choice. Well, she soon recovered once she went back to her old friends. Drop it, Andre. Right now, Nico's in danger, and we have to work together. So, how can I help? Nico needed to speak to Ubier about a stone. Oh, you mean this stone? That's cool. So that's what all the trouble's about. Precisely. Nico told me to guard it with my life. That's well, worth more than that, surely. Oh, very <laughs> funny. What's funny is that your life really is on the line. What are you talking about? The stone is a Mayan artifact, dummy. And the guy who kidnapped Nico was from Central America. It was the stone they were after. Oh my god. You mean I could be in danger too? What do you suppose the carving on the stone means? I don't know. I haven't shown it to anyone. Why don't you just give it to me? I don't want your death on my conscience, Georges. It was almost gentlemanly of him. Why didn't Nico take the stone to Ubier? I don't know. Perhaps she suspected something like this would happen. If she's been hurt, Andre, I'll break every bone in your body. No, that's typical of you. Do you think I don't care what happens to Nico? It occurred to me that slugs don't have bones to break. But I kept that thought to myself. Tell me about your friend Ubier. He's more of a professional acquaintance than a friend. I see. So you don't really know him at all? No, I don't. Great. Does Ubier employ a guy from Central America? Maybe. I don't know.
What do you think this is, Andre? I don't know. I'll give you a clue. <laughs> it's got more backbone than you. You think you're amusing, don't you? Maybe I shouldn't be pissing him off. What can you tell me about this pot? Mm, South or Central American, I'd say. I have a friend who'd be able to tell you more. Is it Ubi? Where can I find this guy? He owns a gallery on the left bank. The Glees Gallery. Thank you. Where did Nico get the stone? I'm not sure I should tell you. Oh, you should. It was something to do with... smuggling. See you later. Goodbye, Georgie. Oh, that was quick. Didn't even get my coffee. Meanwhile, several hundred kilometers away. I've had enough of your games, Kala. Tell me what you've done with my stone. I thought your business was simply smuggling cocaine, Karzak. Why are you so interested in that stone? She's Either a different you tell voice actress. What I want to know, or Pablo here will make you talk. Okay. Well, I figured someone at the university would be able to help. So I had a word with one of my girlfriends, and she told me her boyfriend was a lecturer. I... I sent the stone to the Department of Ethnology. You know, I figured it was South American, so... You're not buying this, are you? That's enough! I don't have time to listen to your mindless prattle. We'll leave you to think it over. Come the morning, you'll be ready to talk. What's that you're drinking? It's wine. Can I join do you? you? Miss being a gendarme? <sighs> yes, of course I do. When I wore that uniform, I commanded the respect. I remember Not him now. I mean, he's distracted. I grabbed the flask and was struck by a powerful smell of absinthe, a highly potent and illegal alcoholic drink. Excuse me. What? Ever heard of Carol Climax, the movie star? Yes, but I don't care for the kind of movie she's made. I was right. It's much like that which has caused the moral decline of the Western world. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Is it true that Carol Climax was murdered by her husband? First I heard of it. I thought she just retired. Interesting. Does he know anything about the Eclipse? He probably what doesn't. What do you make of this news cutting? Orphanage supplied fast food chain? No, it's the article above that. Oh! Total Eclipse of the Sun. Well, that's very dull in comparison. I don't know anything about eclipses. Final question on him. Didn't you try to appeal against your dismissal? There was no point. It was my word against that of the chief inspector. And he was a close friend of the director of the museum I was supposed to be patrolling. <sighs> this ties in quite nicely to, uh... You need anything else? No, I'm good. That's all. Thank you. This ties in closely to the first game. So far, it's already referenced the events quite a bit. Uh, it's time to go. Well, I think it's time to go. Now I had another lead. I could exactly. either go back to Ubier's house or visit the Glees Gallery. Let's try the gallery. The Glees Gallery had style and class but very few customers. The pots were protected by a glass case. Is he Are drunk? You Mr. Glees, the owner? Good God, no. Uh, then I guess that must be him over there, right? Your powers of deductive reasoning astound me. <laughs> What's that you're drinking? I'm not sure, but I have a suspicion it might be urine. Glees can't expect a favorable criticism of his gallery when he serves this muck. 
So he knows. Have you heard of Professor Ubie? Yes, of course. I was at his house earlier. If you're going to drop names, you could at least name one worth dropping. I thought Ubie was a well-respected man. Why, his last book was nothing but pseudo-intellectual claptrap. The demented ramblings of a drug-dependent has-been. Would you give me your opinion on this pot, sir? Hmm, yes. Very rapouche. Rapouche? Hideous. Yep. What the hell do you think you're doing? You smashed my pot! Certainly, it was not only worthless, it was ugly and offensive. To you, maybe. Believe me, I was doing you a favor. I wasn't gonna waste any more breath talking to that pompous blimp. Maybe I could turn the situation to my advantage, and at the same time, get my revenge. The pot had smashed into too many pieces to retrieve. Uh... I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Certainly, sir. I'd be most happy to oblige. You're English? These days, one prefers to think of oneself as European. <laughs> uh, sure. Not anymore. <laughs> Whatever you say. And how precisely may one assist you, sir? There is a gentleman over there who seems to be enjoying your wine. I can't think why. It was very cheap. <laughs> Have you heard of Professor Ubie? Of course. His name is synonymous with Mayan art. A number of these artifacts were supplied by Ubie himself. Do you believe the story that Ubie murdered his wife? If it was true, who can blame him? She was an opportunist tramp. Well, that's what I heard. Interesting. I suppose you have an import license for these relics? Of course. But that's not my problem, sir. The professor arranges all the shipping. We simply collect the items from the docks. Oh, really? What I really wanted to ask you about was a black stone. A black stone? Yeah, it's a Mayan artifact, about as big as my hand. No, sir, one doesn't get much call for black stones. If it's Mayan artifacts you're interested in, I have some rather exquisite pots. And so did I, until that slob smashed it. I found this news story referring to a total eclipse of the sun. Really, sir? Well, well, fascinating. Okay, he doesn't care. Could you tell me which docks Professor Ubie uses to import the artifacts? Good God, no. I can't possibly reveal my commercial secrets. I mean, you could. Do you get many Central American Indians in here? And no, sir. This is Paris. Central America is several thousand kilometers southwest of here. Straight across the Atlantic Ocean and turn left. You can't miss it. Well, as it happens, I saw some Central American Indians this very morning. Tourists, sir. Paris is full of them at this time of year. Have you seen any of Ubier's wife's films? Only one. Believe me, I was appalled, shocked, disgusted, and repulsed. Well, Not bad. You sure got your money's worth. Last time I went to the movies, I wasn't even titillated. I think we're done. I had no possible use for a credit card reader. Yet. Right. Is there... Spheres in a barren waste. Oh, very profound. The Wasteland. Too minimalistic for too much money. Can we distract the dealer? Hi, girls. <laughs> mm. Maybe not. What's the joke? Anata wakirete, isn't it? Okay, fine. Yep. George being American. Rectangles in a desolate landscape. Highly cubist. I could see a pattern emerging in this artist's work. Yes, it's interesting art. So there's nothing I can do with these artifacts. Nothing I can do with my broken pottery. I need to distract him somehow. Because I want to get in there. Uh, 
Oh, we just walk in. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Uh, that area is private. Oh, uh, so I'm not allowed back here? No, sir. Okay. Good to know. There was nothing else I wanted to ask the man. Well, he's got two on him, but I can't. Once talk, and the I guess once. The way that guy was gripping the glass, I'd need a wrench to get away from him. Can I give him some absinthe? I didn't think he'd be interested. Really, I do. Drop the worm in it. I didn't think he'd be interested. I'd had enough of talking to that slob. What do we have? You wouldn't tell me the dark. Love and always pretty audacious, but it turns out that he has the stone, which has a coyote carved on the face. Apparently Nico acquired the coyote stone while investigating a smuggling ring and left it with him for safekeeping. She must have suspected something was up. That'll be why she asked me to go with her to Obier's place. Lobano pointed her with to someone at the university. Perhaps that was when Obier got connected. What? But why do the Central American guys want the stone so bad? Lobano did point me to a pal at the Glees Gallery who, he said, might be able to tell me more about Obier's pot. It's a lead, I guess. The pot had smashed into too many pieces to retrieve. Can we not get him to, like, clean up the pot so I can go in there? There was nothing else I wanted to ask the man. It's not my... I... I didn't think he'd be interested in that. But he might. What happens if we go out? It's cafe or... I don't want to go back to the house. I don't have anything to break down the door. The pots were protected by a glass case. And we could do some petty vandalism. Fair enough. Can't do anything with the key. Don't know what lipstick's gonna it be It was for. Nico's lipstick. It wasn't my color. And it reminded me of clowns. To distract him. No, I can't do that. Can we draw on it? Apparently not. It was the letter to Nico from that creep Lavano. Sick. Yeah. There's nothing interesting on there, is there? All this because the prick smashed my pot. A valuable relic of an ancient civilization lay smashed on the floor. Out of interest, I'm not going behind there. Excuse me, there really is nothing to see back there. Okay, 
I get the message. It's rather a mess. I mean, I have a crazy idea, but it seems like a massive waste of time. Because I can't interact with any of this stuff. What if we go back to the house and we get, um, like another, we can go up, right? We get another pot and we try and ask the question. I need to get in there as well. The cabinet contained what looked like a burst cylinder. Can't take any of this stuff, can I? But they mentioned a book, something about his ramblings. I would like to pick up the tequila, please. No, okay. It was a half bottle of tequila. I drunk enough of that. There was nothing else in the drawer. But we need to do something with that. Can't do anything with this. There's no point in doing anything with that. Can't take any of these pots. There's nothing that I can do here. You could lift the, the bookcase. The bookcase was too heavy to lift. Besides, no, you could lift it. I had it. more important things to do than shift furniture, saving my neck for one. But there could be really useful things on the books, George. The oh, that's the wife. Used to me. Ubia and his wife, I guess. Yeah, okay, cool, nice. It was the flask of absinthe I'd borrowed from the gendarme. Can I put the worm back in? No, so I need the worm for something. I guess you're not going to pick that up either. Or oh, the absinthe thing? No. So you're not going to pick that up, so I can't fill it with tequila. There's, it, that's all obstructed, so there's clearly nothing I can do. Back at the house. We can't get to the house grounds or anything like that, because it takes me out. There isn't a way that way. There's nobody that I can bring. There was no one bring. else I wanted to call. I can't bust the lock on this. It was locked. Can't pick the lock with that. That key didn't work. I had a choice of destinations. The cafe at Montfaucon or the art gallery. I don't know what else there is at the cafe. I'd like to go in the cafe, but he didn't want to. A valuable relic of an ancient civilization. I would love civilization you to be able to pick that up. Floor. Let's try the cafe. He was too hot to sit inside the cafe. I don't want you to sit inside. I just want you to go inside. You need anything else? Care for a shot of absinthe? Ah, uh, no. I've huh. seen what he can do to a man. Look at him. Just six months ago he was a gendarme. Now he's a barely coherent bombastic fool. He was like that last time I met him. <laughs> That's all. Thank you. Excuse me. What? I'm trying to find my girlfriend. She's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Yeah. It was our I got first his attention. Back together after many months. That's too bad. My God, that's depressing. 
that it? Can we not? Excuse me. Leave keep me the alone. conversation going. Come on, go. I had no desire to go down into the sewers. That'll change. There isn't. There's no way down that street. There's. I, I feel like. Go back is it the same house, cafe? Or Might be. Visit the Glee's gallery. Well, we've ruled out Ubier's house, so it has to be the gallery. But I don't know what I'm doing. Show them the worm. If I wanted to be laughed at, there was always Nico. I'll take that as a no. Offer them absinthe. If I wanted to be laughed at, there was always Nico. We tried offering him absinthe, didn't we? Oh no, we were trying it on the glass, not the guy. Right, okay. Oh no, we can pour it in. I splashed a little absinthe into the glass and hoped he wouldn't notice the change of color. He probably won't. He's going down. Did you put something in my drink? Uh, yeah, I did. Well, what do you think? Well, it's certainly an improvement over Gleaser's wine. In fact, I could grow to like it. You want some more? I'd had enough of talking to that slob. Get him drunk. Allow me. <laughs> Got him. Right, okay. We're going for it. We're making a break for it. We've caused the distraction. I'm watching Glee's. There was nothing in the case but styrofoam packing, but pasted on the side was the remains of a label. We take the label. Condor Under Transglobal. The flying bird were the words Condor Transglobal Mars. The rest of the label was missing. You can probably figure it out from there. Were those pots very valuable? The pots are insured, but not the shelving. You've no idea how much that cost me. I wasn't going to waste my breath on that drunkard. Well, we got our revenge. We can't pick that up. We can't pick anything up with these. Condor Transglobal. I think there was a phone number on there. It was the label I'd found in the Glees Gallery. There was no one else I wanted to call. Okay, so there might not have been. Can I look at it? Could ask him about. I had a choice of destinations. The cafe at Montfaucon, or the. We're obviously gallery. not done at the gallery. You can see why it took about ten years to do, finish the Shadow of the Temple, is can't you? If we ask him about the label, he might be dejected enough to tell me. Go away. Um. Would you like a shot of absinthe? Go away. Maybe not. The pot had smashed into too many pieces to retrieve.
I had no possible use for a credit card reader. Nothing in the top. He's, I mean, he's obviously distracted, so is there anything else? The packing case contained nothing but styrofoam chips. But can I do a rubbing? No. Fair enough. Back to the cafe, I guess. We can ask the old policeman if he knows about Condor. Oh, yeah. It's nothing obvious. It's reasonable to expect that an importer is or a, a dock. The waiter Excuse would know. Me. What? He wouldn't have wanted that. But I wanted to ask him. Which museum was it you were supposed to be patrolling? The Croon. It wasn't as if anything important was stolen. <laughs> Just a rusty old tripod. The tripod had returned a few weeks later. I'm going to wait for the waiter to come back out. And see if he knows anything about this. You need anything else? The waiter wouldn't have been interested. We'll ask Look him about this. the dart. A poison dart. Now we. Sure. <laughs> it's the real thing. Knock my girlfriend out cold in a matter of seconds. Romantic. <laughs> Sounds like a real close relationship you have going. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse George. Me. What? I feel like there's something. I've been looking forward to seeing my girl. But he's but not going to care. Rush off to see some professor. I see. And you think she's having an affair with this professor? Look, can we get him I'll interested? It. it doesn't matter. What do you make of this dart? Ah, I remember a case where the victim was killed. That music is a clue then. Such a device. The poison acted in seconds, causing his body to swell up like an inflatable life raft. Grim. Great, what was the case? Tell me what you make of this note. From my years of experience, I gained a pretty good insight into handwriting. I'd say that note was written by a compulsive, obsessive type with an Oedipus complex. It's pretty true. Hey, you got just about everything apart from the ponytail. Excuse me. What? He wouldn't have wanted that. Yes, he would. It's his. Right, so we have nothing new there. We have nothing on the pot. I could either go back to Ubier's house or visit the Glees Gallery. Something with the women. Maybe? They're just gonna laugh. If I wanted to be laughed at, there was always Nico. Yeah. We tried it, and he just said, go away. It's obviously something here. Something I'm missing.
a valuable relic of an ancient civilization lay smashed on the floor. He was out for the count. Glees wasn't happy, I could tell. Did we offer him some... Absinthe? Go away. Go away. Now something's happened, are they going to say anything? If I wanted to be laughed at, there was always need. No, that's a dead end. I couldn't believe it. The pots were marked at 5,000 francs. Each. I mean, that's quite a markup. At that price, I wasn't going anywhere near those pots. We can't do anything with these pots. I want... Can we not just break the door down? We've tried lock picking. can we not just kick it? Artifacting there. It was locked. I don't know what the worm would do. It was locked. Oh, windows. I wasn't going to get through those sturdy bars. Nothing about the view then. Okay. That's just closing that. Um... We can't interact with that in any way. It's a metal bracket. Right, okay. Break it off somehow? I had no further use for the bracket. It might be a hint time. Mm -hmm.